guys, welcome back to the DNA Medical Series. It's your girl Nikki, and today we have a very important video talking about the morning after pill. So it's all about who should take the morning after pill, when should it be taken, uh, the symptoms and signs of taking it, some examples of some morning after pills, and what are basically the level of effectiveness of the morning after pill. So let me just start by telling you guys what exactly is the morning after pill. So the morning after pill is a type of emergency birth control. So it's a type of emergency birth control. So it's used to prevent pregnancies for women who've had unprotected sex or for those whose birth control method has failed. So it's intended for a backup contraception only. So it's not supposed to be used as your primary method of birth control. It's just a backup, just in case something happens and you're trying to prevent your pregnancy, you use a morning after pill. So morning after pill can contain either levonor gestrel, that's like the ones that is in the Prostinar 2, the Plan B, and so on and so forth, or they can contain ulipristal acetate, and that's the one that is in the morning after pill called Ella. So again, it's used as a backup method and not your primary form of birth control. So why do people take the morning after pill? So morning after pill can basically prevent pregnancy if you've had unprotected sex, either because you didn't use your birth control, you probably missed your birth control pill, you were sexually assaulted, or your birth control method just failed. That's when you use the morning after pill. And a key thing to note is that the morning after pills do not end pregnancy that has implanted. So if you're already pregnant, the morning after pill is not there to end your pregnancy. So the morning after pill can work in three ways. It can work before ovulation, after ovulation, and after conception. So let me explain these three things quickly. So before ovulation, the morning after pill is known to block ovulation. And what is ovulation? It's basically the ovaries releasing an egg on day 14 of your menstrual cycle. So this is where the ovaries release an egg and it travels down the fallopian tube to get fertilized if a sperm is there. So what the morning after pill does is to block this process. So no egg is being released. So it cannot, there is no egg to travel down the fallopian tube to get fertilized. So block it there. But what if you ovulate? So if you have already ovulated, what the morning after pill does is prevent the sperm from advancing up into your tubes or your, 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 your uterus to f fertilize any egg. And what if it's after conception? So after you have sex and the sperm start traveling up, this is basically what conception is. It's basically a time when the sperm travel up the vagina into the uterus to fertilize the egg. So if you already have sex, you already ovulated, what the morning after pill does is that it blocks implantation. So it basically makes the environment of the uterus very hostile. So there is no embryo that can attach to it because it's so hostile. It's just so weak. It's not strong. It cannot attach to it. And a key thing to note is that pregnancy does not start the same day you have sex. It can take up to six days for the sperm and the egg to join to get fertilized. So, and it can also take uh, three to four days for the fertilized egg to completely implant itself in the lining of the uterus. So, as I said before, what the morning after pill does, it can block the ovulation, the entire release of the egg. If it, you already ovulated, it prevents the sperm from advancing to go and fertilize that egg. Or it can block implantation where it makes the environment hostile and the embryo cannot attach to your uterus. So that's how it basically prevents you from getting pregnant. So if you're already pregnant, the morning after pill is not there to get rid of your pregnancy. That is totally different from the abortion pill that is used to like remove the attached 
embryo from the uterine wall. The morning after pill does not do that. The abortion pill does that. So these are two separate pills. So some key thing to note is that if you're allergic to any component of the morning after pill, do not take it or try to get uh, those checked out with your doctor and they can recommend you something else. If you're taking certain medications that decreases the effect in effectiveness of these morning after pills like barbiturates or St. John Ward, those pills can decrease the effectiveness of these pills. So you have to either get that checked out with your doctor on what to do next. And another thing to note is that the morning after pill does not protect you against sexually transmitted infections so if you're not supposed to take the morning after pill and have unprotected sex and expect that you won't get those stis you will still get those stis because the morning after pill is there to prevent ovulation not to not to wipe out your pregnancy not to not to prevent you transmitted diseases. It is basically there to prevent you from ovulating. And another thing is that if you're overweight or you're obese, uh, the effectiveness of the morning after pill, some of the morning after pill may decrease. And so if you know that you're overweight, you can get it checked out with your doctor and they can recommend a, a better one for you. Another key thing to note is that to make sure you're not pregnant before using the Eulipristal or the quote-unquote Ella because the effect on the developing babies are unknown and if you're breastfeeding, you're not supposed to be taking Ella. So some side effects you should expect and they typically last a few days when you take the morning after pills are nausea, vomiting, dizziness, fatigue, headache, breast tenderness, bleeding between periods or heavier menstrual periods, lower abdominal pain or cramps. So this not be this may not be the case for everyone but you may experience one or two of these or none at all. So for maximum effectiveness, the emergency contraception should be started as soon as possible, as soon as you had unprotected sex and is within 120 hours so that's like four days so make sure you take it within those times for it to be more effective so you can basically take these pills anytime during your menstrual cycle so if it's your on day 12 day 16 day 21 day one you can take the morning after pill so to use the morning after pill Remember to use instructions on the specific pills because some pills may come with different instruction. But if you're using plan B one step, you take one plan B one step as soon as possible within less than 72 hours after unprotected sex. If you, you're using Ella, take one pill as soon as possible and less than 120 hours after unprotected sex. So plan B is 72 hours, Ella is 120 hours. So if you vomit within two hours after taking the morning after pill, you have to check out with your healthcare provider if you should take another dose. So get that checked out with your doctor. And you're not supposed to start having sex until you are on another birth control method. Because remember, the morning after pill does not provide a lasting protection for pregnancy. It prevents ovulation or it delays ovulation. So if you take the morning after pill today and you continue to have unprotected sex the, other, uh, the upcoming days, you can still get pregnant so be sure to resume your other birth control method because this is only for emergency purposes only so if you're using the morning after pill and you found that you have heavier bleeding than normal you have excess potting after more than a week and all of those things and you know the symptoms just are heightened that you don't expect to have please get that checked out with your doctor because you may be having a miscarriage or the 
the egg is already fertilized outside of your uterus maybe you're having an ectopic pregnancy and the egg is already fertilized outside so you need to get that checked out with your doctor and if you do not get your period within the next three to four weeks of taking the morning after pill please take a pregnancy test and go to your doctor remember the morning after pill does not work if the embryo was already implanted in your uterus so if you're already pregnant the morning after pill won't work for you it is it works to prevent ovulation or delay ovulation so i hope this video helps you guys or clear some things up about the morning after pill for you if you have any questions please drop them in the comment sections below and if you're not yet a subscriber, don't forget to like, comment, and share the DNA Medical series. Until next time, see you soon. Bye!